interesting neutral is going to be. Glacy is kind of just trying to set up that hail and establish base. Yeah, see, now he can he can safely do this kind of stuff because with hail behind him, teleporting in the spinal is pretty risky. He's going to have to constantly be sure he's covered by something. In that situation, he was was able to crash out the slide. Good break from base, though. Man, what a counter hit jab could from that from base. Counter hit jab a little short. Is he going to get the shadow? He does. And the skull set up. Oh, add all Here's kinds of pressure. Frames. I just saw so many blocks. That was crazy. Good stuff from Water Horses. Yeah, that's a good sign. He blocked overhead low a couple times there. And uh, didn't get mixed up too early there. Wow. Anti air. I love that anti air. <laughs> yeah, it just goes like right into your gut. Hits him right in the soul. That's a good, that's an excellent anti air. Down fierce there from uh, Glacius. Oh, with a shadow that counter. That was a brilliant shadow counter. Is he going to get the full combo? Yes. Decides to cut it short. Goes for the hard knockdown. Where's it going to go? Hail's still nice. covering him. Oh, he gets getting, a little, getting a little fancy. You gotta watch out. All it takes is one from base. He has advantage. He has to block after the fireballs. They have they have an extreme amount of advantage. Oh, and he gets Great through ball. with the shadow. And that's gonna be the first life bar here for Water Horses. Base now didn't seem to break the correct. We can actually see on screen now with the recent UI update which button they are pressing, but we don't know which button base pressed. Yeah. We're not, we're not sure what he tried to break there. We just know that it wasn't right. It wasn't right, yeah. Glacius popping stick here. Oh, there's the liquid eyes, and now he's out of the corner with that cold shoulder. Great mobility tool. Water Horses is doing pretty good right now. He was at least able to get his instinct popped within the first life bar. Yeah, pop it your, your... Oh, he wow, got through! that was tricky as hell, and he missed the manual, got thrown out of it. Base oh. might have been trying to break light. Oh, man, but he's taking all these risks. Water Horses is really making this pixel work for himself yeah, here. He this is the thing, man, in these fighting games, all of a sudden one pixel is the hardest thing to take down, and the alien's down, we're going into the final round. Yeah, but a big lead for Water Horses here. Base really has to bring this back. Oh, Still has instinct, that's gonna, be that's gonna go right into Ultra. Missed First the timing game. on the break. Wow, that was, that was a very fast match. It was it was it was fifty in-game seconds long, but it felt like it felt like it went winner, so whoever loses this has a second chance. And also three out of five for those of you guys at home. Good stuff. Base has base has him in the corners. This is yeah, exactly where you want to put him. Yeah, he's got to get here early. Oh, and that big jump fears. If he hit it a second later, he would actually put Blazius there over the lands. That might have just been a miss from Water Horses, but that standing heavy kick has a lot of recovery. It does. And man, the anti airs from Water Horses are excellent. 16% conversion there. So that's really strong. I like that. Damage. I like that patience from Water Horses. Just to have the hail following behind you, and just watch what they do, see how they react, and use that information for the next approach. There it is again. He's waking up with that heavy puddle punch cancel in his shadow hail often. And I, I think base is not respecting it. And yeah, you cannot slide in like that when he has hail. Oh, missed missed the manual sweep, was able to get the throw. This is where Glace just wants to keep spinal from this distance. He's gonna teleport in. Yeah, but the hail, yeah, you yeah. gotta watch out for it. Good call. Just like how we were talking about before the match, that one light hail is gonna protect him. That's all that matters. Yeah, when you corner yourself as Glacius in this Ooh. match, okay. Big I love jump. the avoidance, but it's really gonna hurt. Shadow to end it. He's probably going to do no. uh, Shadow Skull and then Shadow Teleport to Cash. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that killed on the last hit. Good stuff from base. Takes the first round and was down by nearly 50%. But that's going to stuff, but uh, he still had a, a few hail out there to get himself through. Oh, and the run cancel from base. Big pressure now has the Shadow Skull. Okay, and I, you know what? That's a decent trade. Yeah, decent because trade. he's going to steal the Shadow Meter during the rounds here. Okay. He's gonna have pressure. Chooses the back off and respect that instant there. This is the one chance Water Horses needs to get back into this match and do a little bit of damage. That big standing here. Wow, walking him down there. He does have armor while he's an instant. He hasn't caught base at one point tonight with that. The shatter? Yeah. Yeah. He just he keeps jumping over it. He's responding immediately. There it is again, yeah. Big standing roundhouse into the run cancel. Drops the manual there, still safe, and that's gonna be a shadow. Oh, I, don't know missed. Missed. I think he hit on the fourth hit, not the fifth. I think you're right about that. There's that back jump, calling the hail there. And you see hail is the ultimate comes. protection. Yeah, we try to get through with projectile on the tool. If he doesn't guess right here, it's going to be tough. Yeah, and it does. Exactly. Just a couple of jabs. Killer Instinct back in Season 1 really relied on the player to distance. Yeah, lots of zoning, lots of hands air, stuff like that. He gained a lot of damage. Big medium breaker there on an opener from Water Horses. That could be medium or heavy hit uh, if you're ranged, and that could be a close manual if you're up close. So, I mean, it really is a guess there from Blazius. Uh, the Water Horses just made the right one. Teleport off his side. And I'm surprised Water Horses didn't block there because it was you know, base one at quarterback right there, so he was going to teleport to that side. Good throw chooses not to go for the manual to crack the catch up. Just sticks him in the corner, and base just runs right out of there. <laughs> Spinal run all the way out of the corner. Gets through again. Decent oh. win. Yeah, you see uh, Spinal back dash there. He was looking for throw attack. Ooh, that was crazy. Hail is out. He's going to be able to teleport he's here, but he's got to watch the hail. He gets through. 
Emmanuel once again. I think he might be able to go for land star. He's just choosing not to. You're right about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, there's the low skulls. He's getting close they to chip. Are, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are doing chip. So as soon as that hit comes in, Spinal is still taking instinct from Glacius. Big risk on the puddle there, and now he's going to lose even more of this instinct and meter. Oh, and he didn't. He did a delayed rise there, which means you have to eat that skull mix up even uh, a little worse than usual. Looking pretty good for base right now. Well, Currently has it. the momentum and is still stealing instinct and meter. And you saw that down heavy punch manual that he did. Oh, built oh, a skull. Oh, so rough. It's going to be throw. Yeah, he had to tech there to survive. The toughest thing Water Horse has to deal with now is that he can't activate his instinct. So that's what Spinal does. He prevents you from using it. Yeah, he steals the, the meter and uh, instinct there. Okay, well, he caught with the shatter, and that's going to be the round. He can still do this. It's going to be real tough, though, especially not since base has impossible. Just oh, very especially unlikely. in the corner. In the corner, Glacier is so strong. Is he going to teleport? No, he just stays. There's, has to there's be one Shadow Skull away worth the chip damage to win this. Yeah, it's going to be, if you can force the block right here. Oh, he got oh, through. Oh, that's that trade, right. Oh. Yeah. Good stuff. Maybe yeah. he wanted to use that just to get in, except the traded hit has been in that situation before, and yeah. uh, that was exactly what he wanted. I think that was a good call. From base. Another game here, uh, a, a really nice reversal here from base, right? That first game, not looking good for him, but he's turned things around pretty nicely since then. He's one away from moving on in winners to see how he can preserve the momentum. Yeah, and you really do need to try your best to stay in winners here. That's the first that's, shadow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the first time he's fallen for it. And convert or a combo, that's for sure. Okay, there's the oh, slide. Big punish. See. Yeah, and that switching sides there is really nice to get out of the corner. Okay, and finally, you just get some screen to work with here. Oh, and Hale didn't save him there, but yeah, it's going to stop the setup after. Watching the Hale go through, gets the anti air. He's been real good about that so far. He's been playing off and on between an offensive Glacius and a defensive one, but over the past couple of games, he's been a bit more defensive. Yeah, maybe he should take it to base a little bit more here. It seems like he's having some trouble now. Back throw out of the corner. Gonna probably teleport to that side. Yeah, he, he teleports away like that because he wants corner positioning back. Mm -hmm. But right now, base has instinct and a ton of skulls to work with at the end of it. Oh, and there's a the shatter again, but just didn't believe it was gonna hit, so it didn't cancel anything off of it. Yeah, the hell's good gonna, stuff. Yeah. Hell's gonna be enough. And he's now positioning the Hales a little bit better in this match to keep pace from getting in there. Oh, no breaker attempt ouch, there. Ouch, Oh, and a reversal. All right, water That's the alive. heaviest punch I can do. Oh, that, that really hurts if you think about it. It's like 15% every hit. Yeah, look how much damage it's done to base so far. Just a few hits in that bottle punch. Oh, and he got the instinct off. This is really nice for Water Horses here. Now he's going to get an instinct. Oh, wow, hail. great call. The hail, the hail was really intimidating. All he needs is uh, a little bit more here. Any hit will pretty much put base in danger, which means he can be ultra. Very oh, close. What? <laughs> he, okay, yeah, he hit the hurt box on like way. a jumping light kick or something. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Okay, he's gonna be able to get out. Dive Ooh, kick. Dive kick, good call. The immediate break. The other Iron Galaxy special. Okay, Hail is out. Oh, when he gets over, man, all these trades are real nice for Water Horses. Just to do a few more. Oh, wow. Or more, anything will do it. Anything it looks like he it. actually extended the character forward a little bit more to avoid. Match point with Water Horses, the last chance qualifier here. Back into it immediately. Base already has Water Horses in the corner. Glacius is going to have to start using some shoulders to get out. Okay, just nice and the ends. Wow, catches him once again. Going for short combos. Small confirms. Back dashes through with the invincibility. Water Horses in a great position right now. Oh wow, light lockout. He's gonna have to cancel into instinct real soon in case he wants to lose it in the first round. There it He's is. He's gonna be able to teleport here. He is, but there's a block from Water Horse, so this could be bad news. This He got out. I think I mean it's good that he got out. It's really good that he broke that one because the momentum is now slightly changed in Water Horse's favor. Oh, but a big drop from Water Horse is there. He could have kept that combo going. Base looking for back throw there. Really wants corner position. Oh, he got a power devour. I'm surprised he did. I think both players are a little on edge right now. Man, all he needs is a chip here. A normal in the shoulder will chip him out. I want to see Water Horse is really afraid to drop anything at the moment. Good oh stuff. Trade in his trade favor, him. but it sadly is stealing Glacius' instinct in between rounds. He's going to have to hit him again to remove the curse. Oh, and he got him. Stuff. There's the sweep. Nothing too crazy on the setup. Oh, this this is going to end the round. Okay, we're going to be nearly tied going into the final. He does have instinct right now, and I would say Water Horses might need to pop it as soon as possible before it gets stolen. There it is, yeah. He's going to keep himself safe there. 
back throw into the corner. This could be massive. Oh, just backs wow. off the, yeah. doesn't go for the opportunity. He just keeps him in the position. He just doesn't want to miss the breaker. Out. He wanted out. That trade, actually, a lot of meters spent there from base didn't really turn into a lot. And yeah, that, you see that armor. Armor protects it's, him. It's just about to run out, though. Man, Water Horse is in that great hail position. He can use the liquidize this whole time here. Clips oh, him again. Oh, this is big. Yeah, nice short combo. Get the damage. 20% away. He's in danger. Next hit from Water Horses. That's an opener. Could possibly take it, and that's that does it. it. Water Horses puts base into losers and continues on into winners. In the grand match of Alien versus Skeleton. Alien wins this time. Only in Killer Instinct. Only in KI. Playing against Grief here, three out of five. And I like I said, Grief is uh, real good at this matchup. He's very solid at it. Shin Tristan's been out of the game for a while. Been busy. Uh, we haven't seen him in a few tournaments, but very successful when he was around. The funny thing is one of Sadira's better opportunities in this match to, to get ahead of the fact that she has a big nerf to what her main game plan is between jumping and throwing like projectiles yeah. is just to play a better ground match and actually just use her standing MK, crouching MK, and try to get in that way. That's actually how we saw uh, that's how we saw Sadie Jr. win Evo 2014. Oh, this is gonna punish, yeah. And he goes for the unbreakable there. A grief does like to go for these pretty short combos uh, in a hard knockdown, mostly for setup and positioning. That's really kind of how his Sadira is bred. Uh, and if you do see uppercut from Shin Tristan here, yeah, there it is. I was gonna say he's gotta watch out for the web. Shin Tristan puts super glue on his up back button, which is smart during Sadira instinct. Definitely. Okay, and no follow-up there, and you see Grief was expecting it. Now there's the air-to-air -air and the confirm. He's going to be able to dash and upper dash back. Ooh, had the right idea, but Sadira just had the uh, the button out there at the time. Yeah, Two Grief. shorts to take it, and that's going to eliminate most of Shin's Tristan's instinct bar. That was three correct reads in a row from Grief there, just to get rid of that instinct, and that's a really, really big win for him. He lost the life bar there, but to get rid of instinct from Thunder uh, as Sadira without really losing much? Oh, oh man, there it is. No one is happy when they get it away in season three. <laughs> you can't do that anymore, yeah, not, not in the next version. Use it now, though. Definitely, there's the reset into command throw now. Grief's gonna have to eat this mix up here. He does have instinct available, though, and it's gonna hit. No, he cancel an Pretty much guessed right on the empty jump short, but the instinct cancel safe Grief. Yep. The pressure, lots of blocks. That's what you just gotta do in this situation. You just gotta sit there and deal with it. Oh, and a breaker from Tristan. That was actually a really risky break. Super risky, yeah. She could have counter broken there, especially with web out. It's a really dangerous situation, but Tristan goes for it. Uppercut, uppercut, and a breaker from Grief says, You wanna break crazy? I'll be crazy too. Oh, got him, got him. Can't get much after this. He tried. Oh, and that's gonna be enough. Yep. I know that I think that you know it's bait. Oh my god, killer sink. That's what makes this game so much fun. And man, Grief is really having trouble landing those sweeps. See, every, yeah, every time he's had a drop there, and he hasn't been getting the hard knockdown he's looking for in his setups. That standing jab is also a great button for Sadira just to keep you in check. Yeah, it really is. There's a break on medium auto doubles there. Ooh, I don't even block. know where he blocked yeah, that. <laughs> I think he like walked into the block there. Even I don't know. It was really confusing. And you see, Shin Tristan has been holding up when Grief gets near, and I think Grief needs to maybe go lower and and uh, stuff that there. See it again. Short juggles. Jump. Empty jump shorts to confirm into getting combo broken. Yeah, and there's a guest breaker there. Grief has been doing these really short combos. Tristan is uh, playing the odds here by going for a guest break right there. And oh, uh, heavy another auto big heavy auto double. He chooses to break it though. Let's see what Shin Tristan does with that a little bit later. Oh, that that is, yeah, that's going to be punishable. Tough to nice break. Out. Almost that did impossible. So much damage. Yeah. It was the standing, it was because it opened with like unscaled damage and then it had a standing heavy kick, so yeah. it was like immediately into a level 2 or 3. And those webs build up pretty good KV actually, too. Okay. Another thing that's gonna get a big change in season 3, the webs won't do any actual damage anymore. Yeah. Man, DP into DP, huh? No, <laughs> it worked! And it worked! Shades of Ken CPU. <laughs> okay, looks like Ken bot. Alright, little juggle there. Empty jump low. Tristan checks him with jab. Ooh, what a great shadow, shadow counter. counter. Misses the manual. Oh my gosh. Copper gets coming, yeah. So Grief's still doing really good. Um, right now, Shin Tristan has a little bit of the momentum on his side. It just depends on how he can prevent Grief from using his instinct. And there it is, that uppercut. As soon as Sadira jumps, wow. and finally a command throw. Grief does have instinct, though. What a block. There it is. Oh, he's not, that's going to be punished on throw, yeah. Goes for sweep for hard knockdown. Gonna get the Great web. Great block. That was actually punishable. Oh, shadow counters Man, on Grief. yeah. Grief has been on point with the shadow counters in this game. Oh, the resets. Man, Grief is in there. 
doesn't have meter to cash it out or that would have been enough, but he has one final mix-up situation and Tristan will be done. Oh no, this is a big chance. Uh oh Shadow Command throw is available. Uh oh oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh no, die. guys, no, this is it, He's this dead. is it, thunder everybody. Uppercut, no, bad sign for Grief right away, he needed to have that uppercut uh, when Tristan jumped in. Oh, and the walk speed from Orkin yeah, is so Orkin, good. Orkin's got some of the best walk speed and just neutral footsies in the game, but getting to it can be kind of hard. There it is. Plus frame on that. Yeah. Good back dash from Sid Tristan. Definitely has played. Wow, jump through the uppercut there. Orchids. This nice time break. he breaks it. Well, he needed that last game to survive, but this time he gets it. Wow, it did oh, cancel a third Reco. That's a weird. bad look for Greed. Heavy, not broken there. Uppercut's available. Oh, instead the cat comp was interesting. And there's a reset that was block, a great from block from Tristan. Oh, this is, oh, this is really going to hurt. Oh, another with... reset. He got greedy. He got greedy. He did. Yo, that's, again, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the most obvious linkers in the game. Very. It's only that pose. Exactly, yeah. Instant cancel here, yeah. Goes low. Good blocks. Good, Good stuff. That is, that is how you get out of that. Wow. Double ender in the corner. Oh, he's going to get caught, yeah. Could he? Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, that's a great call from Tristan to go for the counter breaker. Could he have done that crouching short into uppercut, or that probably would have hit too fast, right? You gotta try it, yeah. Yeah, it's like I would have smashed it. Buffer, yeah, 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 buffer. At that point, you see the you see the hit stop, and it's like forget it, I'm going for it. Yeah, right. Uh, in worst case, you know, you either get it and you're the greatest, or you don't get it, <laughs> or you don't, and you're, not, not. And you're getting hit anyway. Yeah, so it is, you might as well try it. Here we go. Fighting to the sickest theme in the game. It's so good. There's lava everywhere. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's gonna hit. Oh, I think he tried to get a manual. Good. That's, That's punish. punish. And the timing there is different uh -oh. on that shadow move after those first two hits of Rekka. This Orkin is be cashes massive. out really hard. One or two hits. Man, this this is this is looking uh, pretty good for Greece so far. This is gonna be instant cancel though. Low. There's no shadow counter. He still, he can still stay there. He doesn't have a shadow counter to get out of it. Oh, I actually like oh the, the if he did heavy slide there, he would have been okay, which is funny. Yeah. Oh, gets the non-cross up, cross up. So close. Next hit could kill for Shin Tristan. Yeah. Massive damage output on Thunder. Shadow Command. Instinct throw. pop. He, did he backdash? No. I thought he looked like he backdashed. Oh, we oh that was yeah. a big commit. Yeah, with Cat there though, it's it's not too bad. Oh, he's gonna be able to charge it up. This is gonna be a chip. There's the Cat. Oh, oh the cat. my God! <laughs> Here comes Thunder. Are you gone? First game went well. I mean, her walk speed is so incredible against Thunder. And that stomp hurts a lot. Like, it hurts as much as, like, an uppercut from, like, Jago or Fulgor. It's kind of funny. Just the stomp animation. Yeah, it does so much damage. The boot stomp at the end. See, he's going to stay safe there with the grenade and go for an additional mix-up. It's with the overhead all, and man, the neutral jump punish. This is, is going to be the round for Grief. Yeah, Orchid still hits really damn hard. Like, even though some other characters might have a little bit more damage potential, this this girl is up there in top three in, in highest cash out. Good there stuff, is. just taking the space. Yeah, a little bit of damage there. He's going to be able to instant cancel a grenade on the floor. Okay, he gets through. There's another uppercut. These uppercuts are better for Grief to eat than an actual hit. Ah, great break. call. One chance break wall bounce would be good. There it is. That was a really pretty looking combo. It was. Two combos, actually. Oh, oh my gosh! Called the. So the, the funniest thing about it is that those moments are just you, you're gonna lose so little at the end of it, like such a small percentage of damage. But it's the situation that leads you in after. Great punish from Grief. This is exactly what he needs to get out of the corner. Oh, that's punish. That's a big punish. There's Damn, a breaker. Wow. A one, four, five breaker from Tristan. Uppercut. No. I thought he went for cross up there. Oh, and that's, that's gonna it. That's going to be it for Grief. Two to two. Two to two, Grief. The uppercuts was pretty much taking him down so so much that it, it decided the character change. Yeah, and there's a backdash from Tristan. He's consistently gone to backdash after those plus frames from Orchid. I wonder if he's going to... There it is again. I wonder if he's going to do something to chase that down, maybe. Oh, that's unsafe. Good block. Oh, he's going to be able to shadow counter here, yeah. Yep, I don't know. A random lapse of judgment. Oh, here's the, here's the weird look. There's the tag. That was a good tag. Wow. And an overcommitment from Shin Tristan there. Oh, good block on that overhead, though. That was absolutely key. I, what's crazy is I think Tristan has blocked every overhead reset so far in all of these matches, but Grief has been getting his damage in other ways. Scary spot here. 
Shadow Command throws almost in range, wow. but that Fierce is also Standing in range. Standing heavy punch to start the combo. This might hurt quite a bit. This is enough. Wow, Grieve a massive lead here with this Orchid pick. I wonder if that's what Rico told him to do. Okay, he's going to have Grenade out. And Shin Tristan's going to look to Keep uppercut. Keep the space. Yeah, just a slight chip there and just create more space. Uppercut what Tristan instant. needs. You guys up in the corner. This combo can actually kill. Like, no, okay, yeah, he it, chose not to, but it could have. If he extended it a little bit more, yeah. Instinct available. Uppercut on uppercut action. Yeah. Slightly more invincible because it's the shadow uppercut from Wow, Tristan. wake up jump from grief. That's a punish. Alright, Tristan we just brought this thing back about a 75% life deficit and we're tied in the final round. He's gonna waste out Orchid Instinct here. She should still get another Instinct. No! Wow, uppercut in the shadow command. Bro. Oh, what a oh, shadow card again. He has been consistent with those. There's the wall bounce. Double combo under there all the way. And he's going to have throw here as well. Another grenade. And that trade is good for Grief. Grenade's not going to pop him up. Bounces just before it. Wall bounce under again. And there's an there's overhead. the first he's overhead so reset he's landed. He's so close to danger. And Shit and Tristan. Gonna do it. So well, she can't get under the under the fireball. She doesn't have to slide and commit full screen. She yeah. can just do a regular slide, like under the fireball, a lighter exactly, medium. Yeah. Only standing medium punches just to harass there. This corner pressure from Orchid is really tough for Fulgore to deal with. You see the upper hit there. Oh, that was uh, a real tough spot for Nikki to punish. Okay, he's gonna have one chance. He doesn't go for teleport mix-up yeah, there. Yeah, not going for the mix-up, just going for the straight, uh, trying to get the zoning space started. You know, the thing about, oh, that, that was a big commitment there. And that was open or ender, actually. A good break from Nikki. No pip cancel and an uppercut there. He actually could have done it, he just didn't get it. It's funny, I've even talked to Rico, who, who won EVO with Fulgore in the final match, and he says he still forgets he can do that. Yeah, sometimes you forget. It's, it's, it's tough to remember that all your fireballs can be canceled like that. That is Grenade, yeah, so it's a punish on the ground. He's going to be able to break that fierce, but he chooses not to. First round of LCD. LCD ahead by about 30% going into round two. Okay, there's ground attack. Oh, that standing medium punch. Such an excellent button. One of the best in the game. Who's the teleport saying in the same spot? Yeah. Orchid has, Orchid has a huge low profiling move. Same thing with Sadira. If they just do crouching short when you teleport, they can kind of blow Fulgora. Yeah, he was using sweep there. That, that double hitting sweep that Orchid has just the low profile. He's going to have to respect Grenade. A good escape throw from Mickey. No meter to shadow counter. Fulgora is still really low on his uh, his building of pips. Got a few there, and he's going to get maybe two. Luckily, that shadow cat on the ground is actually punishable anyway, so he didn't even need to. I think you just like crouching short it, huh? Yeah, he did, he did throw, which I think is the safe one, you know? Okay, there's a uh, pressure there. Nice confirm from Nikki. He's gonna have teleport mix up in, uh, in the corner now, though. Good oh. stuff from LCD. That was a lot of good blocks. Misses the manual, though. Goes for the... Oh, it was a good call. Yeah, he Probably he... thought he was gonna go for grab, right? Yeah, throw tech would've lost there, that's for sure. Instinct is available Upper now. Cut. Oh, and LCD... Let his do it. Yeah, he didn't get hit grounded Bad because LCD punish. whiffed... LCD whiffed the air throw, that's the thing. Overhead. Oh, overhead reset, and that's going to do it for LCD. The first overhead landed, sadly, the second one didn't. Yeah, and, and, and Nikki's done that a couple times, right? He's like whiff something and then immediately just done upper. So, yeah, He's, uh, you didn't see it, but on his hand there, the, the wedding ring is there. They are full commitment room. So, that's, I like him switching up the fireballs there, the speeds, and making it tougher for LCD to low profile it. But he gets in. By Fulgor sitting full screen at the start of a round, he's essentially sacrificing the fact that he's going to get any meter. Yeah, um, basically. And hoping that some of those hits land eventually. Yeah, and, and you know what? He's going to build a one pit probably pretty quick, which means he can pit cancel something, but just one pit's not going to be enough. And man, LCD has had two good reads on that slide already this round. The grenade's going to explode. And he just <laughs> over and overhead. Drop Missed the manual, though. Yeah. That grenade is so good, even if you uppercut. And walk under from LCD was excellent. Yeah, I think crouching short from Orchid can actually low profile Fulgore's uh, like medium kick uh, crossover. I've been hit by that a lot. Yeah, and he walks forward just a smidgen too, and that, that's real important. You can do Shadow Dash, here it is. It's gonna work, and avoid the grenade. Yeah. Short damage. LCD does have sliding instinct available. He's gonna uppercut here. That'll be that, first yep, round LCD. That does it. He does not want to die right away though, because he will lose this instinct, and he wants to try to keep as much of it as possible. But unfortunately, gets chipped out. That was worth the pips. A few fireballs. Yeah, that was worth the pips. Why not? Why not just get it? One of the best ways to get damage with Volgor if you need it fast is a shadow fireball. Like teleport opposite side shadow fireball does a solid six percent. Yeah, blade dash and a shadow fireball too. And man, LCD is so good at getting through there. Uppercut from Nikki. He takes the risk. He had the meter to, to cancel the shadow. Oh, this is gonna be big. Good manual. 
Crouching every punch is not an easy manual. It's good stuff. It's like eight frames or something. It's not the fastest. Here's the slide from LCD. Oh, slide. that's a big whiff. Oh, big jump in, and that's a heavy linker, and it's broken by Nikki. Nikki is about one combo away from taking this. Oh, what a throw from Nikki. Yeah, if he teleports opposite side, and. Ooh! It just got a little tricky. I was expecting teleport. You know what? He cornered himself right away and then teleports out, and man, LCD slides have been amazing so far. There's a punish. And a stand attack from LCD gets him out. I think LCD might be fishing out his overhead resets because he's caught him twice on him now, and he's only attempted two. You might be right. That plus plus frames on that light punch laser there. This range is, is where it's real tough for Orchid, right? Where she's got to deal with that crouching medium kick and that medium uh, eye laser there. Got three heavy kick doubles, so that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of pip thing. It is spins a pip there. Still spinning pretty fast here on this reactor, and there's the throw. Teleport back. Yep, got him in the setup. Gonna be, oh, he, Ooh, yeah. that was just barely punishable. A great break for Mickey on the first hit. Gonna have pressure here. Opens him up, and no breaker from Nikki. LCD thought it was coming. It's a very, a very frequent point to break on Orchid's combos, and didn't bite. Nikki takes this. He takes it with about 50% health, and he's got a good amount of spin speed going into the second round. Yeah, it's spinning out there. You can see it. He's filling tons of meter here. Slow things down with all these projectiles now, but there's a shadow counter yep. from LCD. Very easily shadow counterable, similar to Jacob's forward roundhouse. Went for the counter breaker. LCD really had a read there, huh? Gonna be teleport set up behind and into another and teleport throw. Teleported into the same spot, getting real weird now. Oh, and he oh, landed right. it. Blocked correctly on the forward. Oh wow. Caught the low profile. He's gotta pop into instinct very soon. Oh, oh he missed big commit. Man, LC dropped it there. Mickey can kind of throw out some errant stuff because he does have the little bit of his life bar remaining. Orchid's probably gonna take this one though. Oh a breaker on the jab. Oh, and he tried oh, to shadow LCD counter. Tried to shadow counter the end of it. And that is he... 2-1 Nikki Vengeance. Nikki is up two games to one, yeah, with Fulgore. So I think he just has to keep going a little nuts. Like, right now he's doing a lot of kind of weird teleports in the different directions, trying to keep him confused as much as possible, and you can stay in... Here we go. Color for Maya. You see that <laughs> dagger? <laughs> the dagger's like, ooh, hit the crown immediately. Man, Fulgore is a good character, huh? <laughs> that was crazy. He's gonna get the sweep at the end. And that safe jump there is really good because it's a pip if your opponent blocks and it's a combo if they get hit. Uh, it's a really safe setup to go for a wall bounce here and a breaker on Fierce. LCD had a break. Oh, dagger pressure gets beat up there because LCD didn't. Oh, I think you missed the cr crouching short manual. Light kick uppercut uh, setup there is really nice from LCD and a heavy, yeah, heavy linker there gets broken. LCD also needs just one more pip. Oh, this is gonna be big. He's gonna get spin speed. Yep, full charge. Yeah, oh. all the way up. There's a breaker from LCD. He has dagger. Uh, he has instinct. He's going to be able to block and shadow, shadow uppercut. Interesting. He could have blocked and shadow counter there instead of that. I'm not sure why LCD felt the need to take so, that risk. All of all of Maya's uppercuts, even the shadow one, have a little bit of vulnerability, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just not enough to get through there. Right? Mediums. Oh, Good stuff. A... Shadow counter, the triple beam, another obvious one that Fulgore has a lot of the time. Good bait. Oh yeah. my god, caught him on backdash, maybe. Oh, this is all Nikki Vengeance. LCD one pip away from full pips. He does have full pips, no. And he's gonna spin. Wait, he didn't Not get the gonna light kill, though. Pip. No. He oh, needed, he needed the last pip. one to actually get the good damage. Oh, LCD's so close to getting this light bar. And that's oh, gonna be yeah, he can respond with uppercut because he doesn't have the invincibility to save. And save. that's gonna and be it. Yeah, already. <laughs> Oh, there's a throw I'm right away. I'm immediately reminded how big Agonos is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's a little tall. That's why Ultimate Source I don't think has done please, it yet. Please go away, Bug Lady. Can you imagine making uh, an Agonos figure? Oh, that's, that's a good That's actually punish. a punish, yeah. There's not a lot of openers that Zerg can use with Agonos that are completely safe. That? Yeah, I was going to say, with no chunks, that is a tough spot for Agonos to be. Good flick. That is a, it's just a read. You, you do start with two chunks with Agonos, but you lose them really fast. Like, I don't even think we saw them go away. They were just gone. It was real quick. There's going to be Shadow, Good shadow counter. counter. He's going to probably go for one chance into, yep, just to get a single chunk. Got to get them chunk of Is he going to cut the stage off? He does not. He has two pips right now, uh, two of them. What the heck? That was a okay, weird... Okay, so Agano-specific combos. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it was on purpose. I think these guys might have played before. 
Yeah, we're, okay, yeah. so Zerg just lost his other chunk because Sadira went for a multi-hit shadow move. That's the best way to remove stuff from uh, from Agonos in general. Oh, and man. he took away all the others. Yeah, just the armor on that uh, shadow room there just got blown up. Took so much guaranteed damage there. Man, T-Swag is really running over him. Shadow Ruben does have infinite armor on the way through. Is Zerg gonna pop instinct anytime soon? Nope, goes for the oh, we got overhead. Him. Big call right away, he's gonna probably spend shadow. It's kinda tough to kill him, but he should work. Chunks, maybe on the last hit? Yep. Got him. And he's got four chunks locked and loaded. This is the good. big man is slow. But there's 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 a downside to having all these chunks and Agonos becomes yeah, so damn big and heavy. There's a wall. So okay. T Swag does not want to move this oh, wall. He, he doesn't want to get, he does not spot. want another wall to come up behind him. T Swag is in a bad spot this is, here. This is, <laughs> oh, he moved forward. Another wall maybe? Yeah, it's nope. gonna be scary. He's gonna get the dunk on his head and yeah, the web's not. Oh going no! Uh, that's oh, gonna no. this is really gonna, gonna hurt. Punched. Are you ready? Oh damage. Alright, that's like forty something percent. There's that standing medium punch there. He's gonna club him. Oh, we got him. <laughs> it's so big and slow. I think T-Swag's in trouble. Yeah, he's oh, done. Oh, good stuff. So, what we saw was absolute dominance from T-Swag in the first. So, Agonos, there you see, he's such a momentum character. He really gets going fast. And when he gets going, it's rough. You see double wow. flick there. Yeah. Really good. Up flick is one of the best buffs any character has probably ever got. Up to three chunks, got another wall up, and he's immediately into the game plan, which is exactly what he wants. Is he going to put a wall behind him? I doubt it because he the is fast. He wants to land a neutral jump heavy kick, is what he wants. Yeah. Oh my god, he has dunked him every time. Oh, that was a really interesting looking manual. Clutch breaker, there. yeah, he really needed that. So the wall is down to 2 HP now. Uh, for That'll Augustus. neutralize it. The wall, is, yeah, it's still there. He doesn't have the shadow move to knock her through it, though. Yeah, even anti air flick into, into punch would be nice. That did take away. Oh, we got him. Oh, ow! <laughs> I kind of so entertained. It's kind of unfortunate. Whoa, he's pounding the chest. Sir just found his taunt button. It's actually kind of unfortunate that he went through the wall because he died before that. Yeah. But it looked cool, so we'll take it. Oh, now anti air that time. Empty jump breaker. low. Flick. Oh, it oh, didn't anti air that time. Maybe a little too late. Oh, and another fierce doubles go broken. I'm surprised that actually hit. That move with Sadira, you would assume, has 900 frames of invincibility and has none. Yeah. And people get hit by it all the time. The hitbox is just really big. Yeah. And now it is tough for t Swag here with this, this club out. It's it's not easy. There's so much of the, uh, the space is controlled here. And the projectiles are really good. So now he's going to chunk up. Zerg and Miller watch signs about chunks. 15 times. He's swinging away. <laughs> Swing away. <laughs> it's been a while on that one. He's going to get the club. The wall is still oh, there. No, okay, that's gonna be didn't catch him. He didn't throw. And him unfortunately, up. he's gonna lose all his chunks here. As soon as Agonos hits the ground a couple of times, the wall cracks. So yeah, it it's gonna be gone. Maybe in one more, and after this, he's gonna lose his wall. I think it still has one extra. Yeah, it has oh, one, one hit. HP, okay, yeah, it has one HP left. The wall has three hit points. So if he gets knocked down one more time, the wall will be gone. Ouch! Ouch! There it is. The wall should be down now. There it is. No more wall for Agonos. He's gonna be able to catch her on the shadow here, and that's a recapture. Recapture? Yes, he got it. Okay. Oh, that's big! And he's gonna get three chunks here. He's corner gonna, is he gonna put a wall behind him though? That's the real question. Oh, nope, he put the wall front. T swag. Oh, he's gonna go through. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh, he oh a huge shadow counter! This is gonna, this is gonna hurt. Damage. Through the wall, puts her in very danger. close. I would probably go for ruin. We got, oh. it, we got it, and then just do another flick, and it's like you just made the hard read that he was gonna jump again, and it worked. Are you a genius? The funny thing is about those matchups that kind of go in your character's like not favor. The other person on the receiving end is like, well, my character's supposed to win this. What's going on? And then that gets into your head, exactly. and then all of a sudden it's a problem. Yeah, I'm worried about T Swag's mental state, uh, but Sir Killer also known to get a little flustered when he starts losing. See that flick read right there? That is that is pure hard read. There's that overhead. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it could have been bigger damage, but he already committed to the ender. It's too late. Wall up or no? Yes. Is he going behind him? No, it's going in front. It's consistently oh, been going yeah, in front, and that's gonna hit no matter what. Bad, bad call from T Swag there. Trying to get through the wall. Didn't work out. Now Circular with a massive lead, and he is a very momentum based character, so getting a lead is, is really brutal here. He's holding back. Got hit on the cross up, though. Gonna get stuck by the web. Instinct about to run out right now. Luckily for T Swag, he probably will get another instinct. Broke the mediums. Okay, there's the anti-air flick. That's He's a good trade. That's a decent trade. There it is. Double <laughs> flick so again. funny looking. Please go away. Stop it. Stop it, Sadira. There's that overhead oh, stuff wow. to shadow on. I'm guessing it was. Uh, this might catch. Oh, oh yeah, just so missed. A little, little early on. 
Double flick. Okay, there's a stand attack from T-Swag, it works out. And a breaker from wow. Sir. He does have instinct, by the way. We can get a little risky with breaks because he does have his first life bar still. Oh, we got him with that overhead. This is gonna be Not an opener. opener yet. There it is. Oh, oh getting a little counter. risky. Yeah, had it worked, it would have been pretty nice for him. So I think it's not a terrible risk to take considering how much of a lead he has. He's gonna get recapture. He yeah, doesn't. didn't happen. But he does have the club, and he's gonna get some chunks off this. Oh, oh he, I think he might have tried to jump out of it, maybe? Clubbing him there. If he gets hit by two more club hits, he'll be dead here. Yep. All right, so Zerk is gonna lose his instinct. So is T-Swag near the end of this, and he's in danger. Next opener from Zerk could possibly take it. It's not gonna get recaptured there. He got the chunk on the other side. <laughs> I hate that. That's still there. Oh, he got and him. That does it. Zerk zero. Killer takes it. Three. Dang. We are in. <laughs> We are in the things here, Trailblazer in the ground, and he lights the arms on fire right away. Starts it off immediately, has a pace of the match because Saber Wolf doesn't have access to those buttons, but then it goes away. Okay, dash through throw a sword, and gonna wake up uppercut. There it is, and he does have fire flash since he's in, uh, he has that burnout. Legs are on fire. So now he can't do the run, because that's a kick commanded special. Yeah, I actually think Cinder does a really good job of controlling neutral here. Fired up Trailblazer there, is he gonna break her? You can break that really late too, because it's a 10 hit EX. Yeah, it hits so, it like, it's, it's like a quadrillion times. Sweet there, probably a safe jump ball, and a dash through. Good block. Here comes the conversion. Look at these juggles from Swordsman here. Ball has uh, not gone for a break because there hasn't been anything reactable yet. Uh, there wasn't a situation there where you could see what the breaker was going to be. Swordsman thought he was going to get a reset at the end, so he was just building KB meter through the juggle. Yeah, there's the breaker Good on break that. From the ball. recapture is the seeable part of that. There's the Trailblazer. Is he going to Trailblaze back in? There's the ground crash. Wow, and punish. actually a punish. Good stuff. That's, a, that's some heavy matchup knowledge right there. Almost yeah. A lot of Cinder stuff. But many people still don't know what you can punish because not many people play him. Yeah, the ground the ground crash there has tons of recovery frames. So Paul B knew it. Paul B just almost out of instinct here wants to get one final cash out. Wow, so damage. much damage. Oh, and that, that Fire Blast uh, uppercut whip there. Oh, dash to again. Good block from Solomon on that time. Have instinct here if he wants it. Okay, that's a good burn. And uh, that ball tried to break it and missed it. There it is. Spends the meter even. All right. So it's been still it. Spend the meter, but either way, probably not. Yeah. Took the round. Ball going to get close to instinct here while burning him up. And that's that's going to do it. That. Good stuff to Paul. First game, very convincing. So Paul got a couple of really a lot of a lot of matchup knowledge and a lot of normal knowledge to know how to beat it. And it's pretty difficult for a lot of the cast, but Saber Wolf has got maybe a small advantage. There's the confirm. Is there going to be a break from Paul? No, this time. this time. This is the manual, though. Sort okay. of goes for leg burnout. And there's a little bit of white light building there, you see. Sword's even going to have a chance to cash it out, and he does walk wow, tons of damage. Yeah, it hurts. Level 4, 42%. Still and he's got approaching with the power bombs. You want to set those bombs up to get the plus frames. He could die. Yeah, this could be. Oh, we dropped the combo. Maybe on purpose. Okay. He's gonna Definitely wasn't on purpose. And that's going to be the life bar of Swordsman with a convincing uh, first first life bar here in the second game. Character wise, I think uh, Swordsman, unless he gets a whole bunch of burnouts, has to essentially hit Paul like, like maybe one or two more times to actually take the life bar. Yeah. Well, if Paul hits you and with meter, it's going to really freaking hurt. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a ton of damage. No shadow counter there from Paul in the three hits. And that's going to be big damage here to start right no away. No opener yet. Burns the arms. And a dash through from Paul. Just <laughs> just <laughs> just just completely on fire. One of the most comical looking things in the game. Well, he's gonna, he has all this white light here. If he can cash this out, it's going to be big. Got it again. Oh no, stuck in blocks then though. He gets through, but look at the white light from Paul. Yeah. If, he, if, he, okay, he, he's going to get most of it back. He's still burning though. If, oh, Saber Wolf, you're still on fire. Do something about it. If Swordsman can Oh my god, the deck. next the, okay, so the next the next cash out could potentially do it. Paul's just trying to get away to recover some of the white life. Oh no. That's and it. that does it! Yep. So wow. as long as you get the hit, all the life is gonna immediately go away. And that's Cinder's big. And if you hit those punch or kick normals, it'll add additional uh, white life there. Mm -hmm. And Paul did a combo that had a bunch of punches in it, so uh, he had all that white life. Every time I see a Cinder player just just light shit up, and I did not mean that in that way. It's I just I wanna play this character so bad. It's so good. I feel you there. Yeah, he looks so good in action. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how good they made this character look. There's that uh, light slide linker there you see. He's going to go for safe jump there. 
It's the knockdown. Overhead. Grab the overhead. Instinct available. Probably going to be Shadow Eclipse. Yep, yeah. good stuff. It's going to beat out his uppercut. That'll be a cash out, Paul B. <laughs> How funny. That was just like the white life from the jab and the additional the start of the EX move that gave him enough uh, cash out to hit that. Quadrillion damage. Arms are on fire here for Paul B. It was only a level one, so like, yeah, the fire scales depending on what level you're at, and it does not last very long if you're on level one. Yeah, you can see there, it's already gone. What it does, though, is make you afraid for a little bit, and that's all Cinder wants, is you to be a little afraid. Oh, oh this is going to hurt. Yeah. Regular cash out. I'm actually really curious, is Cinder's cash out damage that low on level two where it might not kill? It might not, yeah. I, I'm going to trust sure. Swordsman. He's the Cinder player. I'm, we're definitely not. <laughs> no. By the fact that every time he does a juggle, we're like, ooh. Yeah, we're ooh. <laughs> and we're really? so impressed. Saber Wolf's on fire, lol. There's a breaker on Fierce Auto Doubles. Oh, this is going to be Shadow Wolves, yeah. Ouch. Ow, oh, great call, oh, wow. I think he just did double, double uppercut. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, when he gets low. Oh, this is getting tricky here. Wow, he just goes this under. This is getting tricky here. Swordsman has to break her. He's going to have a chance to combo off this. Oh, he drops the juggle, though. Oh, he got a double Sorry. uppercut. This conversion, where's he going to go with what it? The, wow, what the side hell? Side side. Sadly misses it on the end, but very cool looking. Okay, catches Paul B dashing forward there. Yeah, this long shadow here. Paul gets oh, locked out Oh, Paul gets locked out. So, which... Which part of the body's in the light on fire? Chooses not to. Goes for the cash out ender. Gets 50% damage, but the next hit from Paul couldn't put you yeah, yeah, the There we go. And there we go. It was buffered. Yeah, he just buffered that culture. <laughs> so two to one with doing. But if it came yeah. down to like the last 25%, you should just stick to the game plan, but do better. Yeah, exactly. Just play it out, and you know, a few of those situations go your way. You're gonna win. Okay. Recapture there. Finally, a break from Paul, and he gets the combo off the uh, the breaker there. Alright, so been backing up. He just wants to get fired up. Yeah. He wasn't throwing any bombs, and as soon as he threw a bomb, Paul kind of sniffed it out and dived in. That's for sure. Oh, Shadow Bomb there. Big one. He's going to be Ouch. able to float it. Oh, I... Tons of white light here. I like it. I'm just going to... I like it. There's it goes the for the big cash out, yeah. Massive damage for Sinner is 34%. Okay, he's going to have the Shadow Eclipse here, yeah. Yeah, the, one of the bigger reasons that Cinder is a, a semi-difficult character to use is because he's got very low damage. Yeah. To get to the high damage takes preparation. Okay, there's the recapture right away. Paul's oh, that's going to potentially do it. Chooses not to light any limbs on fire. Yeah, just wants the damage to make sure he dies there. Now, uh, Swordsman. Out of instinct here, but still has plus frames. No shadow counter on that from Paul. Yeah, he's looking Yeah, they can go through it. It's a projectile. And, and, you know, he doesn't want to continue the combo there to give Swordsman more meter instinct. Makes sense. Oh, and that, that ground crash, he could have Yeah, he, I think he could have Shadow, uh, Shadow Ragged Edge. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Dash through from Paul there. Has corner for himself. There's the overhead. He's going to get sweep here into that setup. He's got the advantage on his side. Blocks the overhead this time, but doesn't punish. Yeah, just gets that little jab there. Not enough. Bomb? Yeah, here it comes. Triggers it. No, good good tech from Paul. There's the Shadow Bomb. And he gets locked out again. Oh, That's like this the is going to cause line. a lot of white life. He chooses to set it up for the potential victory. Oh, oh what counter. a great Shadow Counter. Paul's got to be careful about lighting himself more on fire here. By and he, he is. He's still got a lot of white life. If this keeps building and combo breakers remove, remove it completely and recover your white life, good call from Paul. Oh, he's going to have Shadow Breaker. Here. He can't gash out the damage here on this juggle, but it's going to be a lot. And he's in danger here. Oh, wow. Paul's going to take a lot of chip. Yeah, Paul's going to take chip, and, but he gave him enough meter. That's all That truck. does it. Wow. Holy point of. Yeah, not a, not a big fan. All right, so he's been trying to back up there. Yeah, he really does not want to be close, especially when he doesn't have fired up. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> Just launch him up into sweep. There's a solid 15%. Saber Wolf's a powerful character. There's the shadow already. Wow, Swordsman. I didn't even know he had a meter. Oh, Paul. Oh, Gamer's so Paul, counter. yeah, he tried to shadow counter the hit after because it's really hard to shadow counter the direct move itself. Yeah, he just has recovery. He ended up making a guess. He was like, all right, afterwards you're going to hit a button, but there was one. There wasn't one, so. Paul lands a couple more hits, and all of a sudden, Swordsman's down a solid 75%. And again, oh, Paul got locked out. Yeah, it seems like he's really having trouble breaking those. And one of those things where if you're having trouble breaking them, you should probably stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah, don't yeah. even risk it anymore. But it's one of those situations where you're so frustrated you missed it the first time and want to hit it the second time. I got this. I get there's no way I'm missing this again. 
Instinct is available for Swords and Paul B baits it out while yeah. running overhead to just get it right over that Inferno there. Paul is landing a lot of these opening overhead moves. Yeah. Um, it's working out very well for him. Swords is going to have to maybe catch on. Oh, he gets Good right stuff. through. I want to do another one. I have more of these. Oh, and he can actually probably finish the life bar here. No, he goes the wall bounce. Wall ender. bounce ender. Oh, he gets oh. the throw. Okay. If, if Paul attacked that, it would have been... We can acknowledge that Swordsman is smarter than us because we're like, what? Why didn't this guy do the damage? Oh, he just yeah, wanted to prolong things. Oh, it's going to be a yeah. Shadow Eclipse here. Oh, man, it's so much damage. Well, it's damage and white life, so it's the potential for even more after. Exactly, Trail Good Wizard. stuff. That was a good reaction from Swordsman. Lights the arms on fire. Paul B still using them, though. Wow, he's gonna get through. Oh, got through it because he was above the hitbox. Look at the, the cash out Okay, on yeah, that really hurt because it seemed like a short combo, but it was building from the fire. Oh, counter hit there. He's gonna be a this confirmed. Is big. This is out. big. He gets Ben Shadow here. He has wall bounce. And he's, if Paul doesn't break this, he's Oh, he did break it.